Today on How It's Made. Lighters will give you the case history. It's a case for combustion. Spin the wheel and you have an instant flame. Flip the lid and the flame is extinguished. A version of the lighter first appeared in the 19th century. At the time, it was more of a conversation piece than anything. A curiosity that ignited plenty of interest. Lighters aren't a novelty anymore, but they're still a hot commodity. To make lighter cases, a machine uncoils brass from a spool, pulling it to a press. The press stamps the brass repeatedly to shape both the top and bottom parts of the case. A worker collects them and places them on a revolving table. Another worker slides on a hinge to link the top and bottom pieces. An electrode welds the hinge to the case. Then a mechanical arm knocks them down a chute to a worker who inspects the welding job. As the cases move on a conveyor system, they get a quick buff to prepare them for plating. The lighter cases are now plunged into a series of washing solutions and rinses, followed by a nickel solution, then a chrome one. It's the finishing touch for the lighter cases. It's time to move on to the inner workings. A die shapes a piece of steel to make the inside cases. Mechanized arms then place a tube and plate in the case. The tube will hold the flint stone and the plate will form the top of the inner case. Epoxy seals them in place and the cases move through a curing oven to harden the epoxy. A worker arranges a pile of flint wheels so that the teeth are in the proper direction. Grippers load the flint wheels into an assembly jig. These cams will eventually act as a catch for the lighter lid. A gripper places the cam in the jig beside the flint wheel. The assembly jig now receives little brass eyelets between the flint wheel and the cam. The machine slides the inner case over the flint wheel, cam and eyelet. And an automated device rivets it all together. A machine lowers a wick to the eyelet and threads it through. Blades move in from the side and snip the wick. This machine stuffs pieces of cotton into the inner case. The cotton will soak up and retain fuel when the consumer adds it later. Steel plungers tamp down the wick and cotton. Here a die punch cuts a piece of felt to size. Automated arms pick up the felt and shove it into the top of the inner case. Here, grippers place a flint spring in the case just over the flint stone. Pneumatic screwdrivers drive the screw home. A rubber wheel spins the flint and sparks fly as a light sensor checks their intensity. After the flint check, technicians install the inner unit in the case. They check the fit, they test the function, 
looks like it's an open and shut case.